Hello, today I'm going to run you through some very basic engine checks, the kind of checks that you might do every day before starting your engine. I'm sitting right in front of the engine now, usually located underneath the companion way steps. Let's take a look. A very easy way to remember the routine of doing the check is the acronym WOBBLE. W O B L E. The first being the W for water. You'll see the top right hand corner of the engine we have the header tank which contains the fresh water for cooling the engine. This particular engine will draw seawater in to cool the fresh water in this heat exchange and pump it around the engine to cool it. The second O is for oil. Taking the dipstick we can check the oil level, first of all, give in the same way that you would do in a, in a car engine, give the dipstick a wipe, put it back into the holder, and take another reading. We can see plenty of oil in the engine there. The first B is for belts. This particular engine just has one auxiliary belt, which you can see here. We just need to check the tension. We don't want it too loose, we don't want it too tight. Just a 45 degree, a quarter turn on the belt will be sufficient to know that it's okay. The second B is for bilges. Take a look in the bilges. You're looking for splashes of oil, you're looking for a lot of water, anything that you might consider abnormal. The L is for leaks and for looking, so you have a good look at the engine in general and you will notice straight away if there's something amiss. You can tell straight away by the smell as well. Having a smell of that engine. It smells like an engine, which is a good sign. If it smelled like strong of electrical burning, you've got a problem. And then the final E is something that we would check when we start the engine and that is for exhaust. We want to make sure that the cooling water is cooling the engine and getting out of the boat again. So a very quick look at your daily engine checks, um, and again prevention is better than cure, it's always best to be sure that your engine is not going to let you down, because it can sometimes be your saviour. Hope that's been useful, and as ever, if there are any subjects that you'd like us to cover in our Talk Yachting videos, do let us know. Send an email to info at talkyachting.com. Take care. Bye-bye.